Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'll just introduce myself real quick. My name is Brandt. I'm an artist. I've been primarily a draftsman for nearly my entire life. I've been drawing since I was four. I'm self-taught. Um, I did go to art school, and I learned how to do storyboarding for television animation. Uh, it's just something that I didn't really end up doing as a career. Just for whatever reason, I didn't really care for living in the big city. I am still drawing. I have a kid's book that I'm working on and a graphic novel that I'm working on with another artist who's also one of my best friends and a writer who is also one of my best friends. I'm into creative writing. I've been writing for a very long time. I've been a dungeon master. We just celebrated my 40th birthday where I've played D&D. Uh, for 22 years with the same guys uh, which is sort of mind-blowing as you can see behind me I've got a bookshelf it's full of books on mythology and archetypes and heroes and myth and I'm absolutely obsessed with mythology and ancient culture and religion and comic books and superheroes and fantasy and so naturally animation and working in the game industry or television sounded like something that I really wanted to do but life has a funny way of changing directions and sometimes things don't go the way we think they do however I still want to share what I learned with you guys and originally I set out to make this channel for my son and my son is um, nonverbal ASDs, he's got autism, and I'm hoping that one day uh, he can take up the arts, either it drawing or painting like me, or possibly singing like his mother. Um, I do have a digital tablet that I've drawn on before, as some of the other videos you may have watched on my channel. Uh, I do use a digital tablet and Photoshop to draw. Um, he, he has drawn on that before, and he, he really liked it, but... Um, it's nothing quite as advanced as the stuff that I want to go through with you guys today. So this video series is going to be on character design and it's going to be primarily character design for animation or cartoons or video games or comic books. Uh, we're going to go with a cartoonish 2D simplified style that's somewhere between television cartoons, anime, and comic books, and just my own style that I've developed um, over the years. We'll talk about developing your own style later on, but for now, let's just start off with the first part of our, our video series, and we're going to go over basic shapes and how we can get characters to come out just using basic geometry. Grab your pencils. Let's draw. Okay, guys. First of all, I just want to go over some basic materials that if you want to start drawing, that I suggest that you get. First things first, you need to get a sketchbook. If you're going to be a draftsman and you want to draw, you need to draw a lot. One thing they used to tell us in art school was that you needed to draw 10,000 bad drawings before you would start drawing good drawings. To put that into perspective, I have some of my old sketchbooks right here. I'll just show you about how many I have. Two. Three. Four. These things are falling apart. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Didn't realize I had so many in here. Twelve, thirteen. So, as you can see right off the bat, I've got thirteen sketchbooks. These vary from past years. 
this isn't even all this isn't even all of my sketchbooks. This is just a few. Sometimes you can go through these things and you can see where you were in your journey. It's really interesting actually. So right off the bat I can tell that this one was from about three to four years ago. Oh, there's a fitness fitness question card. Sometimes I'm not even sure what's in some of these. You gotta be careful, you never know what you'll find. Oh, there's a character I drew. It's one of my original characters, Cathelion. He's a rambunctious archer. He's in our story um, graphic novel. This looks like a character turnaround. Ah, uh, yes. So with this one, what I was learning, I was learning to draw like Gennady Tartakovsky, the creator of Samurai Jack and the creator of Star Wars, Clone Wars. Great, brilliant animator. Character turnarounds like this is something that we'll go through um, at some point in the future. We can even do expression sheets like this. This looks like... This must have been... Yeah, this is Anakin, Obi-Wan, Mace Windu, um, I can't remember her name, Ventress, I think. Yeah, so you can tell right away these poses are very strong. You can, you can, you can see Gendi uses line weight and direction to create character. Straights and curves. Very simple, very effective. It's actually very difficult to draw like that. That's like Charlie Brown, for example. It's very difficult to draw something so simple. If storyboards, corrupted lore, that's what our story's called. A lot of notes, guys. Sketchbooks sort of become journals at the same time. Characters. Gotta be careful. You never know what you'll find when you go looking through these. Fifteen. Twenty fifteen. There's some characters. Various states, various designs, your characters will transform and go through many different looks as you create. As you go on your journey, you will come to different places in your life where the stuff you draw will be reflective of where you were at that time. No, this one's not even finished. That'll happen too. Hmm. There you go. Akashic House. So this was a indie game studio that I co-created with some friends. And this was some art I did for the first game that we designed. Um, the game bombed. It was actually pirated the day we released it, which was disappointing. But uh, what a learning experience. Some old storyboards for TV. Uh, here's one of my my babies right here. This is Jack. They're a team of robots. This was for a game concept. Um, they each had their own powers. Stand it stands for Jet Automated Cybernetic Commando. This was going to be a 2D side-scrolling platformer. Maybe someday. Maybe someday we'll get to play that. little Wolverine action. Ah, there's that kid again. When I say kid, I mean this kid. As you can see, here he's drawn more in my style. And here he's drawn in more of a cartoony, um, Cartoon Network-ish style. Right? You can tell, it, uh, you can tell a big difference. 
in the way that those characters were designed. This was his sister, Nuria, or Nuria. A lot of notes, a lot of notes. Uh, crazy squirrels. This game was pretty cool. Too bad it didn't, it didn't take off. These are um, actually icons I designed for the game and power-ups. I love doing that kind of stuff. It's real fun. Storyboards, lots of notes, creatures, logos, some characters. What's that guy? A crow. You want to buy a vial of tears? Oh, yeah, we had uh, deceptive crows in the game that were going to sell you things. There's some character sketches of Naraya. Um, the boss, the bad guy, was going through some different incarnations there. There he is again. There he is again. There he is again. Some more character expressions. One of our heroes in the story, the janitor. Some of these characters were um, some of the teachers in this school got um, taken over by these critters that came from underground. Sort of like a 1980s movie and all the, the teachers became Greek heroes. So you can see some of the creatures here riding these worms that would come out from under the ground. So I can show you guys how to design all kinds of stuff like this. This was a page of concepts for the main character. Uh, let's see, Dodgeball, Pete, Medicine, Pete, Pete in Avatar mode. So he's kind of like um, Achilles, Secret Armor, Speed Shoes. Uh, yeah, different stuff. The problem is... Hey, here's a character sheet. The problem is having enough time to do all of what you set out to do. See, eventually this game became 3D, and I think that's where it started to go downhill, because now we had to design everything in 3D instead of 2D. Uh, now we have to model everything. So this was Pete, uh, character turnaround that I did for our modeler. Here are the characters for the bad guys. They were called the Drizine. I did do some finished art for this game. It came out pretty good. It's on my website. If you guys want to check that out, I'll send a link to that. Here's some more designs. There's a Drizine. There are little critters, and they'd wear these helmets. And they had armor, as you can see. Different ones, different colors, of course. Different colors, different strengths. Um, this looks like I was designing some worm, worm mouths. Yep, this is the worm. Kind of like trimmers. I don't know. Some of you guys might be too young. You might not know what trimmers is. There's some inspiration. The Legend of Zelda. I probably should have been born in the 80s or the 70s. Sorry. So I could have uh, worked on games on the Super Nintendo, on the NES. Here's a character design for a bad guy. Bad guys, I should say. Here's another character turnaround I did. And another one. And another one. You have to draw all angles for animation, guys. And Kirby. A little inspiration there. Mm, this is a pretty good sketchbook right here. Not gonna lie. Backgrounds. You gotta figure out where your characters are gonna exist. Here's a spread of all the heroes in the game. Once you have their style figured out, you can create the characters to look um, how you like. That feet actually didn't come out too good, but um, this guy came out real well. And you can see all the teachers, including the principal, uh, in their final design. Uh, that's Dr. Draza, there's Pete's mom, there's the janitor, there's the sister, there's the dog, and there is Coach, um, Coach Guy. I don't remember his name. They were the Cactus Bats. 
What was their mascot at their school? It's pretty funny. I didn't come up with the story. Uh, my friend did. Well, we all kind of did, but... There's just Spider-Man. Spider-Man's really fun to draw. I probably got some good Spider-Man drawings in here somewhere. Maybe. You go through phases. You really do. Hmm. Mind control device. We can go through that at some point too. Designing, designing things. Props. How they work throughout the game. What sort of powers they're gonna need. What your sprites are going to look like. Is it held like this? Does it look like this? Is it a light bulb? Here's some uh, animation sketches. These are some black and white um, ink wash logos for our start screen. I think this was going to be for a character select. You would pick your level, basically. Uh, remember I told you I was into ancient mythology and religion. For a while there I practiced um, writing ancient Egyptian. So I have a book on ancient Egyptian dialect. Somewhere. Just grab it real quick. Here it is. So I lucked out when I went to a book sale locally, and I ended up buying a bunch of books that belonged to a man named John Burberry Jr. And um, he was a professor at the local junior college, and I believe he taught history because I ended up buying some books from Sum on Sumeria, Acadia. Um, Egyptians. Uh, I bought a copy of the Enuma Elish, which is the Sumerian creation myth. Um, and I bought a copy of... Um, Let me just look real quick. Oh, Mayan hieroglyphics. Ancient Babylon. Breaking the Mayan Code. That one too. The Epic of Gilgamesh. Sorry, that's what it was. Anyway, this book can take you through a lot, and for a while there, um, I really dove into this, and I got to where I could actually read basic hieroglyphs. Um, not super good, but, you know, I can, I can tell you which direction they're facing, and why you put, um, for example, on a door frame, Characters on the left will be facing towards the door, towards the door, and characters on the right will be facing towards the door. So, you would never read it the other way around. It's, it's directional, and it matters. Right to left, left to right. Hey, it's one punch man. Here's the jack, a different design of jack, red jack. Let's go ahead and put this away. So that should give you guys a little bit of a perspective on sort of where I come from and my background. And I really hit it home, I hope, that you understand that you need to be drawing all the time. You need to do thousands of drawings. You need to paint, paint. Paint outside, work on your gray tones, work on your poses. You literally, literally, literally do hundreds of thousands of drawings. Hundreds. Watercolor. There's Cotillion again. Sort of a little gamey uh, game style. There's Thing. This character here, more of a comic book-esque style. There he is beheading some monster demons. There they are again in sort of a chibi short design. I believe this was a dungeon for D&D. This was a D&D adventure. 
Some stuff comes out good, some stuff doesn't. You just got to keep working through it. You, not every drawing is going to be a banger. There's going to be a lot of hit and miss. Like, like this came out really good. This is a thing. Is his his glyph for his family is a hummingbird or a bird. Finglefin thing is what we shortened it to because we didn't want to get sued by the Tolkien um, estate thing. Son of Fraggle. I don't even know what's in some of these. The hero, the herald, the mentor, the guardian, the trickster, the shapeshifter, and the shadow. So we have some archetypes from the hero with a th hero with a thousand faces. So mythic image. That's from Joseph Campbell. So I was really into Joseph Campbell at the time. This is all writing for my comic book that I have yet to draw. I've got so much for this story. And I have so little time at the moment. I'm hoping that eventually one of my YouTube channels, I'm also a personal trainer, I'm hoping that they can take off and I can um, buy back some of my time. 12, 6, 17. I remember exactly when I drew this. I was in a courtroom waiting for jury duty. It's crazy how those memories will come back. Which is also sad because that means in, that was 2017, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, that was eight years ago. Still working on the same stuff. And that might happen as well, guys. You might be working on stuff and 10 years is going to fly by. So you really, you really have to nail down your effort to create things, okay? This is color pencil. These are more characters from the story. I really hope one day I can share that that stuff with you guys. These characters it comes from the heart. It's a passion project. There they are again. This is a little an ode to Otomo, um, the guy who drew Akira. Here's our heroes. They live in a pseudo fantasy world. There they are again. The story is called Corrupted Lord. It's Castellian, Pinglefin, and Zev. It's a dark, dark heroic fantasy. There's a different 80s style anime cast. There's a Gennady Tarkovsky sort of style cast. Hmm, storyboards. Okay, so here's actual pages. That we boarded out, and I boarded out for our first issue, Corrupted Lord Number Zero. And you can see the cartoon influence in some of these. It is kind of violent. It's, it's a rated M. I would hope one day that it would have been in possibly Heavy Metal magazine. There's a Goku. I ended up drawing Goku. You can actually see this this drawing being born on this channel. I ended up doing a full color uh, illustration for my nephew for his birthday. That was already two years ago. Cause he just had another one. So there's that character thing again. Interesting stuff, guys. This must have been my corrupted lore sketchbook. The last one I had. There's Zev, so they're, they're getting more streamlined as you can tell. The style here. It's Cathelion, Pinglefin, and Zev. He flies on a book. Pretty cool. These are some of the bad guys designs for the first story. It looks like a photocopy. There's a different Goku. Same sort of pose. Oh, that's inked. Must not have liked that one. There's some fan art. You can see these videos on my channel too. This is from my friend Lily. Cute stuff. Ah, uh, there's the rest of that. This guy got his head lopped off. Really have fun with 
facial expressions. This guy gets his face sliced. Slice. You can really see. Uh, you can see the animation background coming through. A little bit of anime. Big Dragon Ball Z fan. I love drawing sound effects. Clutch. Chuck, 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 chuck. If you wait to pick up any old Eastman and Laird Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I, they, they draw sound effects all the time. I absolutely love Michelangelo's nunchucks. They, they go lack, 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 lack. There's another Jack. There's Cadillion again. More Jacks. Ooh, this is a good sketchbook. This one has my Three Little Pigs story. I actually wrote a sequel to the Three Little Pigs. Maybe I'll tell you guys about it one time. This is their town, Stinkerton. I was actually designing it to be a, um, a mobile game, but um, like I said before, you know, things take time. You have to have time and money. And the older you get, guys, when you're doing this, the less time you have. Because I have a family. And I have to take care of my son. There's a Disney-esque Cathelion. You have to play around. You have to figure these things out. Here's Calf again. He's a ranger. He hunts um, spirits, demons, and monstrosities across dimensions. Here he is um, using a device. Uh, it's going to go in and map this place for him. This is on a, he's on a water world. I'll show you. Let me turn back a page. See, there's these pillars. And he's standing here in this one. Uh, but this whole planet is covered in water. It's, it's, yeah. There's more cat. It's a Black Panther. I don't know what's going on right there. Uh, it became that. 17. 2017. More characters. Lots of writing. Seventeen. That looks like a Holland Spider Man. Some of your drawings are gonna be really bad, guys. Some of them are gonna be terrible, like that one. Some of them are going to be great. Solar system. Map. Pretty cool. The best part about being an artist is you can design your own world. Check it out. Mirror gone. You can create anything. You are the creator. There's Fing and Zev. There's Kath again, more of a real, realistic. He's, these characters have gone through so many designs. Uh, they are finalized. We do have final designs for them now. Comic book panel flow. Thank God we have a final design for them now. Here's another one. Unfinished. Too many sketchbooks, guys. Too many sketchbooks. Mm. Deadpool, Thor, and the Thing. Character designs, turnarounds. Oh, this is the original Pete from that uh, game, the Suburbia. Walk cycle. There he is. That's the one that turned into um, that full color image I showed you earlier. These are some of the early designs for the monsters.
pretty funny suit. It's like a big robot suit, and the kid or the alien sits on the front of the chest like a baby. A little pushed perspective. There's um, Pete in the sewer. <clears throat> Please clean up after your dog. It's a Pikachu. You guys ever seen Ren and Stimpy? It's kind of gross. This is where this kind of weird grossness comes from. Like Pikachu star eye or this lump on this guy's head. Or this stupid dog. Slooping something out of this critter's growth? Like, don't ask. Some backgrounds. Pow, 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 pow. Little Invader Zimish, right? Early characters. Some stuff comes out real bad, some stuff comes out good. symbiote venom thing check out these characters these were some versions of those worms I showed you earlier so the worm looks like it has a little man and then they open up their third their eyeball and their mouth and they actually look like this so they can trick you the idea was that they would look like little teddy bears, so they're like people from the front in the dark, and you see this critter, and then they stand up and open up, and that's how they, um, they eat you. So it would be like this. This was the concept. Darren, what's going on? What's wrong? So you see, you can see the silhouette of the worm, but it's actually, you just see this, this image, so it's like a predatory snake critter. This was another... Uh, depiction of the bearded sandworms. They're used to catch humanoids because they kind of look like humans, right? And then they open their mouth and there's disgusting it like creature. Ew! There is some Hebrew. Some different languages. I'm writing my name. Whoa! Keyframes. We'll do this one and then we'll move on to the next video. I went on a little bit of a tangent here. Hmm, this is actually my newest sketchbook, so this is good. This is good for you guys to see where I am right now. This is Cathelion. That's Kath. That's Zev, and that's Fing. These are their finalized designs, and this is what they will look like in our comic book so you saw all these other drawings took 15 years to get here okay so do not rush this process how long did it take me to do that to find that style to, to figure out who these characters were 15 years guys and these are the characters that we actually play in Dungeons and Dragons and I told you at the beginning of this video that we celebrated our 22nd year of playing together. So these characters are actually 22 years old. Okay, so if you're young, you're into designing characters, and you want to write a story, and you want to develop stuff like this, it might take you that long to, to find out what that story is. Okay, especially if it comes from the heart. It's very dear to me. There's some storyboards. I was going to do this like Goku Superman fight. This is kind of a little bit of that. I actually boarded this out. I wanted to do an animation, but like everything else, I just don't have the time. I spend a lot of my time working. Everybody wants to see Goku fight Superman, right? There's an orc uh, shaman. I'm a World of Warcraft fan. I played for a long time. 
haven't played in a while, but there's a gnome I designed. 11, 12, 23. I just got back into drawing uh, in November, so the sketchbook's very new. His name is Fritz Kerplitz from the Gnome Regan Mining Company. That was from Gnome Vember. I was inspired by um, Samwise Deeder, Deeder, the uh, ex head artist from Blizzard before Blizzard was corrupted by Xbox, Microsoft. Um, here is a Blood Elf Paladin or something. I don't know. As you can see, my drawings have gotten a lot better, right? More squirrels. A little bit of light practice. Raphael. Some girls. Some pretty girls. I think that's Sailor um, Sailor Jupiter. And this was supposed to be April O'Neil. These are just some elf girls. Corrupted Lore has cute elf girls. Uh, trying to get back into it, I did this uh, like 20 minutes? No, 2 a.m. 2 a.m. So that's my son. It didn't, didn't come out too great. There's a drawing of Psylocke I did. The X-Men. There's two sketches of my son right there. He, he likes his tablet. That one came out really good, actually. This one, this one really looks like him. People, people can tell right away. I mean, you can tell that's him too. But I really captured his likeness um, with this one. There he is again. Um, strange pose, trying to push some stuff. Some of these I did on my lunch break. There's a Gohan, Super Saiyan 2, that's all I got in here guys, so get a sketchbook, okay, just took a trip down memory lane, I went on a little bit longer than I wanted to, but uh, I want you guys to get the sketchbook, and then I want you to get some of this, this is comic book board, this is from Canson, I ordered this off of Amazon, but you can buy it probably at uh, Michael's or something like that. Um, this is a book cover concept to the children's book I was working on. I'm um, still not sure if that's the style I'm going to go with. And um, then, the last part before we move on to the next video, you guys need to get a pencil bag, okay? This is where you keep all your tools. This is your toolkit. Mine's half and half. We got markers on this side. What's that doing in there? Got some fine tip paper mates. Got a Tombow. Sharpies. Gray tone Copics. Oops. Sharpie. Sharpie. Roller pen. Brush pen. So the grays. It's for your uh, your gray gray tone work. If you just want to do some light shading. So this side is going to be primarily pencils. I got way too much crap in here. I haven't used that. I haven't used that. I do like using mechanical pencils. These are um, 0 0.7. 0 0.7. You get really good. I drew a lot of what you just saw with this right here. This this pencil right here. But um, if you're doing shading like on that orc, you're going to want to get some pencils like this. Uh, standard set 2B, HB, 6B, and 2H. I you can see that. I just got these at um, you know any art supply store. You can buy these. This is a kneaded eraser. You can squish it up. And then this is a rubber eraser. Um, I can't think of the brand at the moment. Uh, I believe it's a German German company. I think they mean no, it's not that. I can't think of the company. 
maybe I'll do a video from Michaels and I'll let you guys know. But this is just a white rubber eraser. Uh, and it's not pink. It, it picks up the, the pencil very good. And then these are red Prismacolor sketch pencils by Cole Erase. This is a blue one. Um, we I picked this habit up at art school because we use these um, to do animation. If you remember that Kennedy Tartakovsky sketch page of Mace Windu and uh, Samurai Jack, you could tell that there was red and blue line work on those characters, and that is to show lines of action or keyframe animation, stuff like that. 2B 0.5. So that lead is different than the 0.7, and it's more like this 2B, which is um, a pretty soft pencil. Pretty soft. Probably get pretty dark. I got plenty of lead. Never run around, want to run out. And then this is a uh, retractable eraser. Always good to have. And then this is a straight edge. This was used for D&D at some point. And then another thing I'd like you guys to get, um, because I'm big on traditional medium, is color pencils. This is a set of 36. Uh, I got this on Amazon, and I think they delivered it like the next day. It's pretty pretty fast. Prismacolor is a standard. They are very good color pencils. They will give you bright, vibrant color. This set works out great. You can color anything that you could desire with this. I'll put these back. If you want to see these in action, the Goku with Shenron that I drew on my channel, we're done with this. Okay guys, well, let's get to the next part. We gotta draw some characters. That was a 39 minute sketchbook review. That went on a little bit longer than I would have liked. So, for the next part, you're gonna need your pencils and your paper. If you don't have paper like this, I want you to get paper like this. If all you have is 8.5 by 11 computer paper, then, then grab that too. And then we're going to start off by designing some characters. And that'll be in part two.